That was so surreal. Famously called the film "Little Pieces of Time," but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captures a human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. She'd feel like totally haunted. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still... I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie close-up. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotype, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the metro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process... I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. 
You can find out all about them in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me.